from 1968. Here's a Vox electronic organ. Let's take a look at it. We have our manual. And here it is. We have a plastic case, stylophone. There's a speaker right about here. We have 20, we'll call them keys there. Switch for organ and vibrato. Jacks here, a two and a half millimeter jack for extra power. Three and a half millimeter jack to go out to an amplifier. And back we have a tuning switch made in Hong Kong, world of patents pending. Not to leave the switch on while stylophone is not working. And mine is missing the battery cover. Looking at the box for a minute. This is made from the uh, American Stylophone Company in Chicago, Illinois. And the cover shows pipe, organ, organ pipes on it for some reason. They're calling it an electronic organ, but we would probably call this a synthesizer more than an organ. But at the time, I guess maybe that was more understandable than the word synthesizer. And uh, you can see all of the 1968 people dancing. I don't know who's playing the organ but they're dancing uh, 1968, probably the Hey Jude. I don't know if someone's playing that on here. Looking at the instruction manual, songbook, there's some more of those 1968 line drawing people. They don't look too hippie-ish, do they? 1968. Those people must be holding balloons. Here's our pictogram of the stylophone. And tuning. This is interesting here. It's tuned to concert pitch before it leaves the factory. I had to look that up. And concert pitch is 440 hertz for A above middle C. We'll test that. General hints. You can see the keyboard is separated into three spots. Low, middle, and high, similar to piano, only 20 keys, playing techniques, how to read their little bits of music. And you have a whole lot of little songs, some more complicated than others. What, a hundred songs here or something? If you're curious as to what they are, that's it. Pause your screen, print those out. Here's your guarantee. There's been something removed here, something scored and torn off. That's apparently the purchase warranty card that someone sent in, but there's no date of purchase marked here, so I don't know when it was originally sold. Now, I'm not a musician at all, and I was surprised to find out that these things are still being made and sold. I mean, hundreds and thousands of them. Uh, they're everywhere, and they're cheap, and they've been sold since 1968. As a matter of fact, David Bowie used one of these in 1969 on his Space Oddity song. You remember that, Ground Control to Major Tom? Um, there's even a line of stylophone 
with the David Bowie branding on it. And there's some stylophones now that they're making it look different. There's lots of different knobs and stuff, but a lot of them still seem to be the same, except when you look, you'll see they have USB cables and things like that. So somewhere inside they're different. And they probably work better. Mine has some scratchiness to it, and I tried to take it apart to fix that scratchiness. Um, but I was only able to somewhat do it. They recommend if it is scratchy that you clean the tip of the stylus here and the keyboards with alcohol. And I tried that and used uh, deoxid on it. I made some improvements, but not necessarily a lot. But yeah, David Boy used one of these. And actually this also showed up in the movie Baby Driver when Baby's making his mixtape. He uses one of these momentarily uh, to create his mixtape. So it's been around in pop culture a long time and I just have never heard of it. Probably because I'm not a musician. To get the stylus out, you just uh, press push and it pops up. And I did figure out that on here, the vibrato kind of makes a more sliding tone. And I did find out that this is the only thing that will work with it. I tried various things, holding them to the wire, uh, but only this tip, some sort of electrical contact on the tip with the keyboard, we'll call it, works. So, little synthesizer tones there. Well, let's see. Here's A above middle C, I guess you'd call it. I have this Seiko guitar tuner sort of thing from a long time ago. I think I got it at an estate sale. Um, never had any reason to use it, but if we have it set to 440 hertz, we just... Sometimes it's on, and sometimes it's not. Very inconsistent. I said that I tried to uh, fix it, get inside and spray some contacts or something. Let's take a look at the insides that I made a video of while I was in there. Here's the inside. I took the back off. I wanted to see if I could spray some contact cleaner on those keys there somewhere, but. I can't really get to them inside. They're on the other side of this. And there's a couple of tabs there. I'm gonna try and pry the board out from the other side. I hear that dreadful plastic cracking sound that is not good. So I stop before any damage is done, I think. A couple of transistors. That capacitor looks like it has a 1969 date code on it. Now there are probably hundreds of YouTube videos of people using this correctly. So I'm not going to try and uh, overachieve those people. I can't. They're musicians. Is this a toy or a real musical instrument? I think maybe it's something like a harmonica. Maybe you would take it has batteries so that you could use it outside around a campfire. When you look at all those songs, they're kind of like folk songs, outdoorsy songs that people might have used it for. So it's kind of a toy, but then once again, David Bowie used it, and boy, there's sure a lot of them sold these days. So I don't really know. Well, I'll try something anyway. Um, let's see. We said David Bowie, didn't we? David Bowie, I don't know. Can we do a little bit, if we can figure it out? There's a little bit of 
bit of space out of the there. Ground control to major top. But I can't figure out any more notes after that. I set it on vibrato versus flat. I think that sounds a little better. I wonder if I can play something and not tell you what it is and maybe you recognize it. It's pretty simple. Props to anybody who can tell me what that was. I tried. That's the extent of my musical ability. So, like I say, there's a lot of people on YouTube that use these wonderfully. Um, check those out if you really want to hear one put through its paces. Well, that's been it for the 1968 stylophone, electronic organ, or synthesizer. Um, once again, I've demonstrated this more as a old piece of vintage electronics, not a musical instrument, because I have none of those abilities. But anyway, for whatever it's worth, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.